Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> my name is Ben. I make videos on my mental health, about RC cars, about my paranoia schizophrenia. But this video is about my new vaporizer, my e cigarette. There it is. Can you see that? It's an Aspire Stealth version 1. And it has different settings for the power and that's controllable by the bottom button it goes from the minimum amount of power up to the highest amount of power by making or pressing the switch at the bottom three times and then it'll be three leds light up if you're on full power one led lights up when you're on the first amount of power that it's going to use from the battery it's basically how harsh it is on your throat is derived, derived from how many lights light up on the bottom so if, if you have three lights your maximum power so it'll be drive your maximum power out of its built-in 500 milliamp hour battery which is very good i like the 500 milliamp hour battery it lasts a long time and it doesn't take too long to charge up it takes about 45 minutes or three quarters of, or an hour to charge up which is not too long to wait is it if you're dying for a bit of nicotine I could also put CBD oil in this vaporizer, but I chose to go with the nicotine because I'm addicted to cigarettes and I'm not addicted to cannabis. It's like what you might have heard. I usually smoke quarter ounces a day or two ounces a week, so I was a heavy, heavy cannabis smoker. But I've got off that now. I can sleep with my quetarpin, diazepam, etc. This gets me a good 12 or 13 hours sleep most nights. I wake up in the night for a pee sometimes, but I go back to sleep straight away. Anyway, this. I've gone grown to like this device. The bits that you see are the coil and the tank and the end bit where you put your mouth to to inhale the vapour. That's what you see there. And I can't really make a better review of it. I've been by using it and trialing it. Um I've got 1.6% bubblegum flavoured nicotine here. It's made by My Vapors and it's 1.6% W slash V nicotine content, maximum dose 16 milligrams per milliliter. And it said all the waffle about not allow not do not allow kids to smoke and stuff at the bottom. Just like on all nicotine products. It comes with, with a nice user manual, it comes with a warranty card as well. I can't find that card right now, but it's in my my chest of drawers somewhere, I guarantee you it will come with a warranty card for a year so if it, you're not happy with it or it breaks within the year you've got such a free warrant, warranty to get your money back I paid £25.70 pence for my vape and this included the bubblegum liquid and the bubblegum liquid is in this box I filled my tank up today and there's the bubblegum liquid just there uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure what mill it is, it'll probably say it's it just says it's 1.6% WV nicotine content, blended tobacco but it's of bubblegum flavour and this is really tasty, I love bubblegum I like the flavour of bubblegum, so smoke as well, it's grown to me I also like black cherry, I like the taste of black cherry in a vaporizer I think this is quite a good idea, having different flavours like sweets but Smoke all sweets, really. Really? That, that's how they're possible, isn't it? I'm not possible by any means. I'm Devonian. I'm from Devon and I'm living in Cornwall now. I'm a little bit outside of these parts, but yeah, me to live near Biddeford. But this is just going off on a tangent. I'm trying not to do this now. It's just annoying. I can't help it with my schizophrenia makes it me do it. <clears throat> anyway, I've only had this vaporizer a few hours to get used to. But I've really worked out that the switch on the bottom is for turning the wattage up so it's harsher on your throat to so get more nicotine into your lungs quicker than if it was on a lower setting. If you to turn it on, you press the power button, which is that button up there at the top, at the back. You press it five times to switch it on and five times to switch it off in a row. So simultaneously press it five times i found that three times would switch mine on for some reason maybe it's just remembering two times from the time 
before or something in its memory, I don't know. But I, when I first turned on, I pressed it three times and it switched on, which is very, very unusual. I'm sure you will agree. I don't really know a lot about vapes, but I want to know a lot more about them because they're very intriguing. And I know you can build, build your own vape from a kit, which is what I might do when I've worked out things like coils and the loops and stuff like that and the tanks. When I, want, when I wish to put one together, I'll probably be asking for help on YouTube. It's time to make a YouTube video on how to build a kit vaporizer with the strong, a strong nicotine content in the juice. I want one. I don't. The only thing I don't like about this is the sharp edges. If I was to give this to a child, they could really hurt their fingers on the edges. They are quite sharp, and this this isn't needed really. To be honest with you, it, it should have tapered edges. They, if they use a CNC machine to, to mill it. They could make this a lot better, I would imagine. The, it's really solid though, it's all in steel. It's steel, the outside is steel. It should be magnetic. Um, this might be stainless steel or it might be aluminium, I'm not too sure. But it's a magnet at the bottom holding the mouthpiece in. And this is very good, the magnet works brilliantly. I can't smoke it in there because I need to go outside to smoke it. I could. I'm not going to do it in a normal farm out, but I don't want to get in trouble if I do walk through the door in a split second. I'm not smoking inside here, I don't want to lose my tenancy. But anyway, this video is going to come to an end soon. I recommend this as far as version 1. It's going to last me a few years anyway before I want to upgrade. Oh, yeah, it comes with a charging lead. This is what baffles me, they didn't put a plug in with a charging lead. So they're expecting everyone on the planet to have some kind of USB device, such as a laptop, in order to charge it. But unfortunately, I haven't got a laptop. I have no way of charging it up. So I've got the actual plug bit off of my uh, iPhone charger, and I plug it into that. But it's not ideal. Luckily, I've got an iPad that I don't use anymore, a first-generation iPad, so I use a charger from the iPad for the Aspire Stealth version 1 or K1 it might be called, oh, I can't remember now but I might have been saying V1 but it's K1 I think I am, I think it is K1 sorry about that mistake I apologise, my brain is not with it today it's just Quetarpin, second day on Quetarpin my brain's a mush, mush I don't know if you want to say a mush in Yorkshire but I'm not from Yorkshire, my grandmother's from Yorkshire I don't sound like I'm from Yorkshire, I sound like I'm from Delonian land in Devon Hopefully, anyway, I shouldn't tell if I come from anywhere else. I don't. Anyway, it's K1 self. It says on the side that I can read it here K1 self. Yeah, look, you can read it for yourself again. There. K1 self. Aspire, it says on the side I'm looking at now. Aspire K1 self. That's the name of it. The make and model. You can tell nothing one. But as long as you want them to buy it, if they're labelling, they're advertising their own goods on their own goods. So they're obviously proud of what they're making and want more people or customers. Anyway, please subscribe to my channel if you have any questions about the S4 K1 vaporizer or e-cigarette as you might want to call it. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to my channel. I make all sorts of videos from my mental health, such as schizophrenia, anxiety, depression, uh loads of things paranoid schizophrenia drug induced psychosis which is uh, schizophrenia it turned into schizophrenia anyway and i also have another channel on remote control cars but i'm gonna put my remote control cars i am gonna get one remote control car i want to get a hpi trophy flux truck truggy or buggy at the moment when i bought when i paid off my phone money and once i paid off money for a fridge for my bedroom it's my food goes missing sometimes and I want to keep my silos in my room. So once I've done this, I'll have spare money for a remote control car. I've got a budget of 400 to 500 pounds to spend on a remote control car and I've been looking at the Trophy Flux Buggy by HPI. I used to have a HPI Trophy Flux Buggy, but I sold it. I think my mum actually took some of the parts of it down the tip because we fell out, but unfortunately. So anyway, I've reviewed my K1 self now. A short video of 10 minutes long coming up. Anyway, I think I'll leave it there. So please comment, 
Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please comment below if you have any questions. Bye for now all. Cheers.